it is, man. You know. Um, you know what? Real quick, before we sign off, I got a real quick poll I want to get some feedback on. So I follow um, Crooked Eye on um, Twitter, and so he's real, um, he real heavy on Twitter. He posts a lot on there, and so um, I think he also does a podcast. But basically, he went on Twitter the other day and posed a question. He was like, you know, I know everybody says Illmatic is like one of the best albums that ever came out. He was like, but I'm going to show y'all an album that was better than Illmatic. Mm. And y'all ain't even going to realize it. And so, everyone was like, okay, well, you know. So then he, he reaches down, he pulls out a CD, and it was it was written by Nas, the second album. Oh. So he, and then he's like, basically, come on now, debate me, argue me. Because I, 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 he, he feels like it was written was better. Now, I went back just to be, you know, remind myself. I went back and listened to It Was Written. It was dope, but I still feel Illmatic was a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know. It was creative. It Was Written was definitely dope and creative, but I don't know. For, for me, Illmatic was just a little more gritty. It just had a little more of that grittiness to it, that 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 fresh out the dirt grittiness. You know what I mean? I don't know. It was written. I didn't. I didn't really have. I didn't really have that album. Illmatic. I listened to it through and through. But yeah. like, like the message. Um, that song, the message, definitely had like a. Yeah. It had a Illmatic feel to it. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like I. Mm, that's kind of tough because I had yeah. to listen to that. Yeah, that's why I said I had to but go there back a couple and listen gym, to But it. there's a couple gems on that. It was written. Yeah, yeah it God, was. Man. It was definitely one of my favorites on there is a song called I Gave You Power, you know, about him as the gun persona. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Rapping like he was the gun, you know what I mean? So that was dope. But I don't know, man. For me, I still, maybe it's maybe it's my New York state of mind. But Illmatic is just still that joint to me, you know what I mean? So, uh, who's that, Daryl? Yeah, what up, what up, what up, up Daryl? What right, up, what we up? want to shout out Daryl, man. We appreciate you sharing this last week. Man. Yeah, we man. You. Thank you. Definitely. Man. Thank you for uh, checking us out. You catching us right at the end, so we just about to sign off. But we had a quick poll that we were doing. Um, verse, uh, Illmatic versus It Was Written, the two Nas albums. We were trying to see what we thought was better because... Um, Crooked Eye posed that question. Uh, we, we got somebody else on the line. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Y'all catching us on the end. Yeah. Man, we just about to sign off. Yeah, about to go up there and get a cheese sandwich. Right. <laughs> so, um, y'all, y'all feel free to weigh in. This is the last topic we're talking about. So, uh, Crooked Eye from Slaughterhouse posed the question that Illmatic was not one of the greatest albums out there. That it was an album that was better. And that was, it was written by Nas. That was Nas' second album. So, what y'all think? If y'all familiar with both of those albums, which one y'all think is better? I don't know. For me, it's, it's still Illmatic. You know what I mean? Um, um, it was written was dope, but it just didn't do it as much as Illmatic for there's, me. There's a couple songs on it was written <coughs> that was better than some of the songs on Illmatic. Though. Yeah. The message is like a contender for that though. So, the message was like, oh my god, every time yeah. I hear that shit. Yeah. Good God. Yeah, man. So it was a, it was definitely a dope album, man. I can't even front. But um, I don't know, man. I might post it in the um, yeah, 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 yeah. Illmatic. See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew people were gonna be on my side. But um, but yeah. So you know, I don't know. For me, Illmatic was just a little more of that gritty New York flavor that everybody loved, and and that's what they fell in love for Nas for. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, both of y'all. See, Illmatic. They know. A twofer. Twofer. A twofer. So, we appreciate y'all weighing in on that. Um, I'm going to upload this uh, episode to YouTube. So, y'all look for it on the YouTube page. And y'all can catch uh, the rerun on Facebook as well. Oh, yes. And we, yeah, we did talk about me. Yeah, we did. And, like, we, um, I haven't heard the whole album. I heard a couple of the songs. Really impressed. Um, I mean... I really think his, like we were talking, like his rap and what he's talking about now, he's really trying to change shit. Yeah. I feel it in, like I can hear that in his voice. Yeah. I mean, he's always been, it's been pretty good. I mean, just some of the stuff he was talking about, 
you know, back then was kind of juvenile, so... But yeah, he Daryl said plus wasn't Nas the first to use multiple producers on uh, one project. I'm not sure if he was, but he probably was. If not, he's the most notable. Yeah. Because um yeah, he he put a lot of um producers on Elmatic, you know what I mean? He had Primo, he had Large Professor, he had Pete Rock. Yep. I mean, my god. I mean, he, he's worked with Dre. Yeah. Um, you know, man, Q tip. So he, yeah, Nas was, he wasn't scared to venture out there. You know what I mean? That's what was dope about him, man. So, but, um, but yeah, the Meek album sounds good. We got to listen to the whole thing. We only heard a couple of joints. So, you know, uh, of course, the championship song is, is hot off the press. That's dope, man. You know, the, the, the Jay Z line on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He said something, what it was, it's like, yeah, we was young then. Something about the billboard. Was like, yeah, we was trying to crush billboard. We was young then, and then now we older. It's like, man, are you kidding, man? Right. I'm like, I'm yeah, man. man. <laughs> so Jay Jay killed that, and they they've been talking about his verse for like you know the past week because of how hot it was. You know what I mean? So uh, definitely, yeah. Jay Jay went off on that. So. But yeah, man, we we gonna um go ahead and sign it off uh, for this episode, episode fifty nine. Uh, we're not sure about next week. We're gonna try to do an episode next week, but uh, if we do, it might be kind of late. We're gonna see, and then after next week, it's gonna be a little up in the air because um, I'm oh, starting a new is. job, and we got the holidays coming up. So for a few weeks, it might be a little tough for us to get some episodes done. But we're gonna do our best. And we appreciate y'all for riding with us. <laughs> he said, oh, man, Jay didn't lose no sleep. Uh, didn't lose a step. Oh, <laughs> man. And man. he ugly. <laughs> but, I was looking at that. I was looking at that. He's that still one. rapping his ass. Oh, oh he's nice, though. He nice. Yeah. I have to give it to him. I'm not a Jay fan. Yeah. And, oh, real quick. I know we trying to end this, but real quick. So, do you really, you know, Ebro posed the question. Is there anybody greater than Jay? Mm. Do you feel do you feel that way? Do you feel there's anybody great as far as like accomplishments and what he's done, you know, outside of like Pac and Big and and probably Nas, you know, people gonna say Nas. I think people yeah. say Nas, Eminem. I Lil mean, Wayne. if you look at it from a financial standpoint of a rapper, probably not. Nobody's financially reached him up. There's some people that are close. 50, 50 got, you know, probably a good 100 mil, you know, under his belt. But Jay is at least like five to 600 mil, you know what I mean? So he's at over half a billion dollars. So, you know what I mean? And, and Beyonce is in that same boat. She's half a bill too. So together they're a billion dollars. Yeah. But um, as far as money, no. I don't think anyone's um, done that. And, you know, he has had a good thing going. He, he, he was pre president of Def Jam. He, he was, you know, the CEO of Rockefeller. You know, Rockefeller was a big label at one time. So, I, I, I mean, as far as if you look at it like that, then yes, he probably is the most successful of all when it comes to just rappers. Nah, I don't think he's the best rapper. Um, nah, he's nice. He's I ain't not, gonna, I ain't gonna give that to him. Yeah, he's not yeah the best I'm gonna rapper. give that to him. He's That's nice. That's why I said financially. Yeah. Financially, he's the best. But as far as rapping, you know, he's, he's definitely top five. But he ain't, um, he ain't the best. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, uh, you still got, you, when, as long as Nas is still alive, you know what I mean? Black you got, Man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. MF Doom. MF Doom. I mean, so we got too much competition out there for as far as rapping goes. But as far as, I was listening to him today a little bit, and um, he said in the line talking about, yeah, you want the old J back, well, go get my old shit. And I'm right. like. See, that's what Eminem need to be doing. See, he's yeah. like, look, I got to move. Right. And Jay's like, and I see it. It's like, Jay's like hey, I'm over I've got to move. I'm like, I can't be rapping about like Robin, you know, or, you know, doing this. And I'm, you know, I've still got like the Mercedes Benz, like little 1995 kid. Right. Or what. Ah, I'm on this 2018. I'm exactly. moving. You know, so that, I mean. That, that's where Eminem fails, man, because he's one of the best lyricists out there, but mentally sometimes he lets people get to him man he, he lets people frustrate him that that whole mgk thing that shouldn't even shouldn't even took him there you know what i mean mgk played on his um emotions you know what i mean he was trying to upset him you know what i mean so yeah let me just throw that back on there dude. <laughs> yeah 
Exactly. He said Jay is showing how to be grown up in hip hop. Yeah, right, exactly. Man. That's how exactly, it be. and that's and I I mean like it's, again I'm not much of a Jay fan, but I commend him for that. Like I like I understand and rep- you know, right. recognize him. Yeah, you know. And all I can say is I don't know, man. I hope. I mean, I'm not a big Jay and Beyonce fan, but I do like them as a couple. I'm glad they're doing their thing, but we were talking about Cardi B and Offset earlier breaking up. I would hate to see if them two broke up, because uh, I would hope they had a prenup, because them two got too much money to... Man, that 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 would be a, a divorce for the decades, you know what I mean? So uh, I hope they keep that one going, you know what I mean? And I think that's why... Jay Z put up with a lot of that, like when Solange was beating him in the elevator, he was just like, "Yep, I'm just go ahead and take it. Go ahead, yep, you got it. All right." Because back in the day, Jay, he was slapped up. They got footage of him slapping chicks, and back in the day, Damn. you know what I mean. So that's why Nas was clowning them on Ether, you know, uh, about you know abusing women and all of that, you know what I mean? Because uh, it's, it's footage of him slapping women and mushing women and all of that. Damn, back, Jay. back in the day, Jay. He, Damn, ho. You know, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, they don't want that. I, I think he's grown up past that. You know what I mean? So yeah, we, uh, Jay gonna host the Oscar and say, "Hey, we got these, <laughs> got these footage. Somebody by the name of Nasir Jones is right. there giving these footage. <laughs> Yo, Talk about you mushy these women. Right. Yeah, you gonna have to apologize. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, man. They, that, that's crazy. Oh shit. But yeah, I think Jay, I mean, as far as accomplishments and financially, Jay probably is the best. I think 50 Cent um, has done a lot for himself. I'm, he's smart. Uh, between 50 and Diddy, I think they're the next two right under Jay, you know what I mean, as far as money. You know what I mean? I ain't about 50 too, man. I was just thinking we about that. Ashley, What's up, Ashley? Um, What's, um, Everybody coming in at the last Brandon minute. Billy. We try to we try to shut it down. Yeah, y'all probably <laughs> like, well, damn, they usually get on about right. this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll man. get in here early. No, but yeah. yeah, but um, Fifty man, a lot of I mean, much as you know, he did some stuff. He did his dirt and everything. Yeah. But one thing about Fifty man, he came in. I really think about and listening back. He came in with a new sound because, like, yeah. he came in with that New York sound. Right. And he was from New York, yeah. but he didn't sound New York as right. far as like the voice. He had yeah. like a different, like yeah. that's a unique voice. Yeah, he was he was using a, some down south type slang and stuff like that. So I think he was more so trying to cater to the popular audiences. You know what I mean? Because uh, for a while, just the whole down south sound was just what was hitting. So I think he was using a lot of their slang. Just to try to, you know, make himself more popular. I think he did that on purpose. And if he did, that's a smart move because he made money off of it. But um, but anyway, you know, he he's, I mean, he's smart. He made a lot of money. I'm sure he got at least 100 mil under his belt. I'm sure Diddy got somewhere between two and 300 mil under his belt. Because Diddy got, he got all his music catalog, all the artist catalog. He got Revolt. You know what I mean? That, that's Diddy's channel. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, exactly. Ain't never gonna stop. <laughs> take that, take that, take that, take that. Oh, my wrong button. You know what I mean? Gotta get a little Harlem shake up in there, you know what I mean? Gotta get a little Harlem shake up in there. I've been <laughs> So, yeah, man. Um, but yeah, Nonya said Ether was one of the best dishes ever in her book, and you write about that, man. Yeah, I'm hey. about to. Mm, I'm about to. Best. It wasn't. Maybe I don't know if it was the. It best. was good though. It better yeah, than Takeover. It's, it's, it's top five. Mm. It's, it's top five, and this is now. This is another debate. Some people are saying that um, hit 'em up is the like the best. Mm. To me, mm, nah, hit 'em up. It was hard, but it was not the best, and it's not even to me. It's not even better than Ethan. No, not not to me anyway. I don't know, but you know we could debate on that. You know what I mean? But I don't know. My top five this song, Jack the Ripper. Yeah. The bridge is over. Yeah. Ether was overrated. Daryl, come no! on. No! You gotta be joking me. Oh, you like, take over. Take over. The break's <laughs> over. Yo, the you God killed MC, me. You me, me J-O. Right Yo, you killing me right now. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. We're going to have to have a full discussion about that. You, 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 you can't be right about that, man. 
I was just angry on the record. Well, hell, I've been angry too. Yeah. You done call me out my name. Yeah. I'm trying to go out the game quietly. Yeah, exactly. Jay Z's like, yeah, man, I'll punch you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Oh. His mom's was dying. You yeah, know I mean? like he was like. His mom's dying right, right before that happened, and you going to come with the. See, that's the thing I don't like about Jay, man. Jay do some sneak shit, yeah, man. man. Like, damn. He'd be like, Jay's the king of sublimes. Yeah, he'd be, like, he'd be like, oh, so uh, you out the, you out the game? <laughs> right. right, right. We're gonna we're gonna play this chess move real yeah, quick. <laughs> but yo, I don't know, man. You, you, we can't we can't even go there. But anyway, I'm gonna give you. Did you finish your top five? Dang, hold on. Yeah. So Jack the Ripper, Bridge is over. Okay. Um, damn, you have to say no Vaseline because I mean I Cube went forward in them scenes. Mm. Uh, shit, I'm trying to think of another one that was good. Um, damn. I mean, I got some others in my head, but they, I don't think they'd be top five. I would have to say, um, Cannabis second round KO. Okay. I'll do it a second. And, um, and even Cool J with the Ripper Strike Back. That, that yeah. shit. That, that, was, that was like Ethan uh, Takeover before right. Ethan and Takeover. Right. You really think You're about right it. about that. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I got some of mine is about the same. So, um, No Vaseline definitely won. Uh, Ether definitely won. Um, the Ripper Strikes Back, LL, that's one of them. Um, Cannabis, I don't know if his made it in my top five, but he'd be probably number six. You know, he'd be right outside of that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so, uh, but two more. One of them would be the Kumo D joint that he did versus LL. Oh, yeah, how you like me? Yeah. Not even that one. I didn't oh, let's that. go. Let's, let's go, yeah. That I forgot one. about that yeah, one. Yeah, so. I took those L's and rocked your pants. Right. So, let's go. Yeah, oh. and yep, uh, yep. let me get one more, one more. Um. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Who else? Who else? Damn, I forgot about the Breaking Dawn. Cool J you know what? the three cats. I'm going to have to, y'all, I'm going to surprise y'all with this one. But the Beanie Siegel disc that he did against Jada, the very first one, where he just went in for like two or three minutes. Hey, I uh, forgot about, hey, yo, yeah. I forgot, hey, no. I forgot about the locks. No. Shoot, the locks had the some discs too, boy. Yeah. Woo. But uh, that, fuck the speculation talk over. Nigga, dig this. I'm about to sun kiss like a soda. And Jim. make Jay to the noir. Put his lips on his nine and really kiss the game goodbye. That right there. He, man, that was like the hardest. He should have saved that for the end. He brought that out too early, so later on, you know, Kiss got a chance to build up some momentum and, and come back hard on him, but um, that was it for me. I'm for me, he, he killed that. I joined too, fit with uh, they were go, uh, the locks going at 50. Yeah. That checkmate. The checkmate. <laughs> you did it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, man, <laughs> cannabis. That second round knockout would be like number six. You know, another one that's real close to my top five, but would be right outside of it, like the cannabis joint, would be the um, Nas joint where he dissed uh, Fifty. The Queens, oh yeah, Queens, nobody Queens, yourself. Not even that one. Queens get the money. Um, I ain't see. I yeah, ain't it was off the album, so nobody yourself was uh, freestyle. But he had an official song on the album called um, Queens Get the Money, and. He, he did these dope sublims about 50 and without even calling his name. It was so dope, man. It was so dope. And he, he made it scientific. It was like Rock Kim all over. You know what I mean? Rock Kim rhyming. So that would be like right outside the top five, too, right there. You know what I mean? So, so we need an extended episode. <laughs> extended episode for this one. Right, right. We might, hey, we might, we might put know, something in the work. I don't know. I don't know. We might do uh, something. We could talk about this all day, man. Yeah, yeah. But Ether, see... Ether was dope because Nas is a smart dude. When he rhymes, it's almost scientific. It wasn't just him mad. You know what I mean? He outsmarted Jay. You know what I mean? He actually outsmarted him. And so he didn't have to say, I'm going to bring a, um, a gun to a knife fight. You know what I mean? I'm going to just blow you out the water. You came with a knife. I'm going to come with a gun. He just outsmarted him. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. For me... Ether was just still better than Takeover and um, the Super Ugly. Yeah, the Super, Super Ugly, Ugly was that, like that probably was, one of his weakest songs. Yeah, so Super Ugly, you know, he he kind of hit 
he kind of hit Nas, you know, with a little punch to the gut with that one because that's where he was talking about sleeping with his baby moms and all of that, skeeting in the Jeep, leaving condoms on the baby seat. So that was like a new low right there. Yeah. But it didn't necessarily make it dope, you know what I mean? It was just like, I'm going to stab you when you're not looking, you know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. For me, it wasn't, it wasn't that great. So Ether, Ether was just better, you know what I mean? Because it's almost like Nas did his homework, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Did all so. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right though. The blueprint too. He did admit to the um, to losing to Nas, you know what I mean? And that was smart of him, you know what I mean? Because that was him just basically saying, "I'm gonna go ahead and just take the L, but we are gonna move on," you know what I mean? And that's what you got to do, man. Yeah. And now, you know, bass cross the beats. I think Nas went to his record label. And, you know, hey, I think everything is good now. You know, all beefs are squashed, like 50 in the locks are yeah. cool. All them cool. That's, that's what needs to happen. And we just see all need to come together. And, you know, just knock, these, knock this shit out, man. I mean, yeah, make, yeah, make man. good music. Make good lasting music. Good, you know, legendary stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know, Daryl. I don't know about that. That was kind of even on that one. You know, um, Jay had a song on his album called Success when him and Nas squashed the beef. And um, they both um, rhymed on it. And uh, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to go back because when I remember hearing it, I remember thinking they were both kind of even. But I kind of like, I'm such a Nas fan, so I'm a little biased. So if I had to give somebody the edge, it would be Nas, but I don't know, man. We gonna have to. I'm gonna post that one in the group and see what everybody think. Who who out rhyme to on that record? Cause uh, Nas, uh, he killed that one. You know what I mean? Oh, there's a debate. Yep. It's an old debate, though. Brooklyn Finest or Fast Life? Yeah, that's a good one right there. So that's Brooklyn old. Finest, that's Jay and um, Biggie, and Fast Life, that's Nas and Cool G Rap. Man, that, that would be a good one to um, debate about, man. Because uh, both of those two songs was hard as hell, man. Now, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I like I like Nas' style of rapping and Kooji Raps a little bit better. So, I'm gonna I'm go ahead and say I like Fast Life a little bit better. But you, if y'all ain't never heard it, go listen to that. Nas, Kooji Rap featuring Nas, Fast Life. It's, it's the business right there. And it was about the same time, I think. Yeah, about um, 95, mid, 96. Mid to late 90s, yeah. yeah. So. Oh, what beat is that? That's, that's, oh, that's that Gangsta. Right that's Gangsta? Okay. Yeah, that's that uh, Moment of Truth album. Okay. I'm like, they yeah, best album, man. Yeah, that sounds like a primo beat right there. You know, you can, you can kind of hear it. So. Yeah, man. Fast life. Fast life. Yeah. You know. Fast life. Yeah. Check that out, Nonya. If you ain't never heard it, listen to both of them. J and Big, um, Brooklyn's Finest, and then Nas and Coogee Rap. Fast life. And tell us what you think. Um, I'm going to post them both in the, um, on the page a little bit later, and we'll go from there, so... But yeah, so y'all jumping in on the last minute. Yeah, y'all, uh, we done got we, we done got a little, little charge. You know what I mean? We got the second win. Another thirty minutes. Yeah, so we, we gonna have to close it down. Yeah. You know, we we got to save some of this energy for next time. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, go back and look at the replay. You know, because we talked a lot in this episode. We covered a lot of topics. Um, it's definitely worth talking about. So, knowing you say she thinks both are dope. Yeah, yeah. They both dope. They yeah. both dope. Both dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We try and see which we, one. We, we, we just trying to see what you think got the which one is better. Which, which one is teetering a little bit more? You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, let us know. Let us know. But anyway, man, we gonna sign it off one more time. Yeah. <laughs> for episode 